Dramatic and dangerous moments unfolding in Upper Darby earlier today. Still under investigation tonight. Two suspects being sought for carjacking a father, taking his car with a two-month-old child still inside it. During the confrontation, shots are fired. A passing SEPTA bus is struck. The suspects still being sought. It is Thursday night, and the big story in Action News is developing. The continuing manhunt for two carjackers after a terrifying afternoon in Upper Darby. Action News reporter Brianna Smith is live from Upper Darby Police Headquarters with the very latest. Brianna. Rick, and the carjacking unfolded just feet away from police headquarters. Now, police have been searching for those two suspects since about 3.30 this afternoon, and they thank the community for their help. Police say their last tip led them to a house nearby, which is where they say the suspects were before the incident. Just after 8 p.m., Upper Darby Police and the SWAT team responded to New Street in hopes of taking the two male suspects into custody. I'm pleading with the two individuals, our two suspects, turn yourself in. This all comes after an hours-long search for the suspects who carjacked a family on the 7200 block of Westchester Pike around 3.15 p.m. It was all caught on surveillance video. It's a shame. It really is. Police say the two suspects approached this Honda SUV while a father and his two children, a two-month-old and a five-year-old, were in inside. Police say there was a struggle between the father and one suspect, and then the suspect sped away with the two-month-old. We never think that will happen right across the street from the police station, and we got kids around here. Police say as the suspect drove on Westchester Pike, he fired a gun inside the SUV, striking a SEPTA bus that had 25 customers on board, but no one was hurt. I was sitting here, and I went upstairs. By the time I got upstairs in my kitchen, that's when I heard the shot. Police believe when the suspect saw officers near State Road, he ran away, as shown in this surveillance video. Mom, dad, and the children, the five-year-old, are very shaken up. Chopper 6 video shows officers and canines combing through the area, which extended to North State Road and Cobbs Creek Golf Course, where one suspect was last seen. Residents hope the search doesn't continue much longer. We don't need that around here. Nobody with no guns shooting and, 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 and making our community unsafe. And police say, thankfully, everyone is okay. Now they know who the suspects are, but they've yet to identify them. Again, they appreciate the community's help in searching for these suspects. And if you have any information, you're asked to contact police. Live in Upper Darby, Brianna Smith, Channel 6 Action News. Rick. Brianna, thank you.